life. What is life? I keep, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here in my uh, my park. I'm doing my morning walk in this beautiful park, and and I realize today that every time I go for a walk in this park, I think about life and kind of nature. And you know, I, I think about a lot of things. I think about you know what I'm writing and what I'm working on, and books and maybe worries and all this. But but one of these things that keep occurring is is this question: you know, what what is life in its core? Uh, and maybe it has something to do with the, uh, the fighting online about abortion, and maybe it has to do with my own child childlessness. You know, I, I I never really wanted children, but now that I'm older, I regret that decision. You know, and and I keep coming back to it. And if you look at life, what life is, or what nature is, and you reduce it to its core. Nature doesn't care about whether we have a purpose or whether we you know, have a fulfilling life or whether we have a good career or whether we accomplish something in life or write a great book. You know, nature doesn't really care how long we live or whether we are miserable or happy. Nature will kill us just as, you know, just as easily as give us something to eat. You know, nature has no problem you know, creating earthquakes that kill thousands of people at the drop of a hat. Nature it, it doesn't care about our quality of life. Nature it makes us, base as soon as we no longer can bear children, nature kind of stops. You know, we stop growing as soon as we as soon as we reach the point where we cannot have children anymore, or or where it's unlikely. We 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 get older. We getting wrinkles. We you know our memory deteriorates. Everything starts to deteriorate. It's like nature just gives up on us. It's the only point. The only thing that nature wants us from us really is to reproduce is to create new life and life is just that's all it wants and if you look at everything you know the, the flowers the, the grass the worms the insects you know all it is really is just a, a, a vessel uh, a, you know a, 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 a means of creating new life life is there to create new life that's all it is and it's like it's like you know we're spinning through space and space is full of barrenness and emptiness and coldness and there is no life out there or there's very little you know the, you know compared to the a planet like mars or the moon where there is no life uh, it's you know life a planet with life is very rare uh, like ours is and and it's as if life is just trying to push against that life is nature is just doing its best to just have this one goal this endless relentless determined goal of just spreading life just making life more and more until it spreads out you know maybe we'll someday colonize mars and uh, uh you know and, and, and go out to colonize more of the universe and then you know spread life more and further it, it's like that's the one thing that life wants is more life until it it reaches out and spreads out and and pushes back the barrenness and the and the emptiness of space with all kinds of green crawling you know shooting bursting confused suffering happy uh, you know fighting uh, green things uh, uh, that are continually you know like rabbits reproducing for no other reason than, than that that is what it has to do that's what it has to do just keep pushing life and expanding life until until it conquers the barrenness of existence.